What's up YouTube, how are we doing? Uh, not uploaded for a while now. Uh, to be honest, I've been finding it quite hard to get the motivation to do it. But I'm gonna try and make an effort now to upload more videos. Uh, we're going to York next week, so I'm gonna try to do, well, not daily vlogs, but at least make an effort to try and put out some more content. We're not going fishing today. We're going to a place near Sandwich called Wingham Wildlife Park and we're going to see some giant tortoises and not only going to see giant tortoises but hopefully get in the enclosure with the giant tortoises and also get to stroke those giant tortoises so uh, we've got about 15 minutes to drive and uh, bring you back when we get there Okay, we're here. Let's uh, get ourselves sorted out and we'll uh, get up and have a walk in and see what the score is. I think we're uh, quite early. I mean, it said to arrive kind of 15 minutes before at the uh, latest. So we've got about half an hour spare. So uh, let's go. What we got in here? Red eared sliders. There's carp in here as well. Fortunately, I've not got me rod though. Mirror carp. Sometimes you can see them. Not seen the turtles though. Don't forget to mask up. Well, I thought thought they weren't going to let us in for a second egg, so it said our vouchers have expired. But uh, everything's sorted. We'll just make our way up to the tortoises now. Yeah, you know, a couple of otters over there rolling about in the dirt. He's quite photogenic, that one, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the tortoise enclosure up here, one of them anyway. They're probably all hopefully out in the sun where we can stroke them today. I haven't mm. seen, can't really see anything in there. Have a look at the next one. Oh, there's one. I don't know if you can uh, should be able to see him. 
I'm using a GoPro Hero 8 for this, so uh, the kind of the exposure, auto exposure is not too bad. So, so we see him in there. Right, well that one over there is a plastic tortoise uh, for display purposes only but uh, there's the other three over there and the background noise is the, noise <laughs> is the uh, one of uh, Wing and Wildlife Park's premier toddler attractions which is the plastic dinosaur park I'm not entirely sure what that noise is supposed to be I'm assuming a dinosaur I think it does sound like the foghorn in Dover, doesn't it? So yeah, hopefully we'll be, uh, as soon as the keeper arrives, we'll be uh, in there getting amongst some tortoises. Uh, but <laughs> we try not to uh, have anyone falling into it. Yes, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, we do have a tortoise of our own, but he's much smaller than these guys. Oh really? What species? Uh, Mediterranean spurfied. Cute. Well done. Yeah, he remembered. It's because I asked you, I went, it's a Greek in it, and he went, Mediterranean is first. I said, because it's going to come up at some point. Thank you. There we go. Oh, he'd love it here, I should have brought him. Yeah. <laughs> they run riots. We've got four individuals in the collection. There's one inside. Um, yeah. So we've got one male who's over there, he's yeah. just head. And then we have three females. Um, we've got Tammy and Doris, and then inside is Tina. Um, you might notice that the male is quite a lot bigger than the females. So yeah. That's, mm. that's yeah. just males in general, they will get a lot bigger. Um, does he try to escape? He has, he has once. Um, there's a pole around here, that one, that's extra yeah. concreted in, because he did actually manage to smash it. Oh wow. He's very strong. Yeah, they butt against things, don't they? Really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they really do. So the Ted will come right up to you, he's super friendly. Yeah. With the females, it's nice to make sure that they know that you're here, so I tend to normally touch the shell first, they yeah. know that I'm here, and then I'll move on to the legs, and then by that point, they'll know what's up, and she'll stand up for us. <laughs> um, I tend not to like loom over their heads, just in case they're yeah. a bit. Yeah. Um, so help yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like no, to? No, you uh... go first. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Is this already recording? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. So that's Doris. The, the, so as I said, the lightest one is about 60 kilos. The lightest one is Tina inside. She's the yeah. smallest. Um, Ted is probably somewhat somewhere between 75 and 80 kilos. Wow. Um, and they're only 10, all of them. Well, yeah. Ted is 11 actually, but um, they all only reach full height, um, full weight when they're about 35 to 40 years old. Yeah. And by that point, he could be just over 300 kilos. So they've got a lot of growth. Yeah. <laughs> The wow. females will only grow to about 150 kilos. Tiny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just a little bit bigger than our Fred, isn't it? Just a little yeah. bit bigger than the Mediterranean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Fred's only about five. Oh, so he's not bless. that. <laughs> he's not that he's not that big anyway, but tiny. <laughs> he'll be he'll be much smaller than the uh, so you'll notice she stood up when I started yeah. tossing her. That's a reflex that they have. Um, it comes from when they're in the wild, and uh, there'll be things like birds that come over and try and pick the dead skin off of them. Yeah. And so they also have this mutual relationship. They, the tosses sort of stand up so that the birds can reach in all the little nooks and crannies. Mm. Um, so the birds get a little um, crusty snack, <laughs> and uh, the tosses get nice and groomed. So that's how we know that they really quite enjoy having a nice scratch because it does help them to uh, groom themselves. Yeah, we've seen uh, on ours the skin start to, to peel every now and again. You yeah. get bits that are hanging off and yeah. they just fall off when he's walking around. They do, yeah. We've got like uh, we've got like rough rocks and a little piece of logs and log in the tortoise table as well in a little area outside. Oh, fantastic, yeah. So they kind of rub it all off <laughs> and everything because they just go over everything. Tortoises never go around anything. They just no, go straight over the top. Straight and... straight <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. They are like tanks. <laughs> Welcome to go and meet the others as well. These Ted's on that. He's a bit busy. <laughs> this is, Tammy is one of the more nervous girls yeah. just now. Uh, so I will tend to just sit next to her and I'll wait for her to look like she's a bit more comfortable before I move in and straight there. Let's go down. Right, Tammy? <laughs> there we go, sweetheart. 
These guys are actually pretty good swimmers. Well, they all just bob around, really. Yeah. Not keen, this one, that. Some people think, because they're from the Seychelles, which is obviously yeah. an island or archipelago. There we um, go. Some people actually think that they managed to um, come over to the islands and go between the islands by literally bobbing around in the sea. Oh. <laughs> You're not too so sure, are you? Especially in order to also help them get rid of all the dead skin and stuff, they love yeah. to have a soak. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> oh, Stuart, I think you made a friend there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I asked about the escaper because like, Stuart's, uh, Stuart's dad's partner was like 12. And she's got like roughly half of that on the feet. Mm. And she said the girls really are just quite happy to push her around the yeah. garden because the boys are always constantly trying to escape. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're never they're never happy to sit still. So, yeah. I find they've got much bigger personalities, especially as they grow older. Yeah, see and our Fred just he does laps of his daughter's table. <laughs> He's constantly trying to climb out. He's even taken to scooping the earth up one end. Hello. <laughs> it's Ted. We know about Ted because oh. we've seen all the uh, we've seen a lot of the live streams over lockdown. Oh, so, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ted is definitely the most friendly. Yeah. Yeah. And do they prefer stroking under the kitchen to the top? Or oh, all over. Stroke? As far as far in as you can reach, they absolutely yeah. love it. Do that. We need yeah. a big one. Uh, hello Ted. Is this recording? Yes. Nice to meet you finally. <laughs> <laughs> he is a gorgeous tortoise. So you just love the attention. I think when we got ours, I think he was the probably the same size as his head, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fred's not much bigger than than uh, Ted's head right now. They do start so tiny, don't they? Yeah. These guys, they start as, when they hatch, they're only about that big. So. Yeah. Oh wow. The sun is killing my phone. <laughs> there we go. So they come towards you, isn't it? Up straight away, think, oh, somebody's going to stroke me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although Tina inside probably is the most friendly out of all the girls. Mm. She, just, she just, personal preference, doesn't come outside very much. How old did you say Ted was? About 11 years old. About 11 years old, wow. <laughs> And they, yeah, they mature and she's slower than humans as well. They'll only reach sexual maturity about 35, 40 years old when they're fully grown. Yeah. So, yeah. They're Wonderful. Like, little baby. <laughs> um, maximum they could live up to 150 years. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's hard to tell with animals that live this long because they outlive the scientists that are trying to start to Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're a tortoise is more of an heirloom, aren't they, than a, exactly, <laughs> than a pet? Yeah. Some, I mean, some families do end up passing them down through several generations. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've already told my nieces that, that you know, <laughs> be prepared to look after Fred Aww. because <laughs> he'll be around a lot longer than we are. Well, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, unless we do something really wrong. <laughs> Did you get that on film? Because don't show mum that bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll. Uh, yeah, I don't think she. I don't think she watches anything I've got out anyway. So. so if I want to get this much attention out of my tortoise, I'd have to have a, a large clump of dandelion leaves in one yeah. hand. That's what he loves. Uh, he, he's, he'll he'll sprint towards you if you're holding anything green. Yeah. <laughs> These guys, especially him, they also quite food. Oh. Yeah. You're, you you're lovely. Um, and so he'll normally use carrots or something else, yellow or orange, because yeah. yellow seems to work well for him. Uh, 
and he will just go and accidentally gun them along to get this orange target and they'll do it out But some of the girls are okay at it, but not the time. So you can get in from one end to the other in about 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, they can get some speed up when they want to, can't they? Oh, yeah. No, definitely. If you see the saw carters over there fighting, they can fast. Yeah. Bugs. I'm technically a cover keeper, but we do have one um, just reptile keeper. Um, she's off the today. Yeah. yeah we, I'm, a, I'm a reptile person. You're a reptile person. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, we actually, we when we bought our Fred, we got him after a trip here because we'd been, we'd been talking for ages and ages about getting turtles. Yeah. We love turtles and. Uh, uh, and all this and then we went into the reptile house and there was a little tortoise in there and I was like mm -hmm. why have we never thought about getting a tortoise? <laughs> so, <night>. uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so then we ended up going over to a pet shop in Herne Bay yeah, oh, yeah. and yeah, just another one but yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right, so that was a tortoise experience at Wynnum Wildlife Park. That was absolutely amazing. We really enjoyed that. Those tortoises were great. Sadly, they're a little bit big, so they won't fit in the car and we can't take them all home. I think our favourite, as, uh, as the keeper said, I think everybody's favourite has got to be Ted, uh, the, uh, the larger one, the male. He was absolutely amazing. And as soon as we got to him, he, he, he was up and sticking his head up in the air and wanting his chin scratched. So. Yeah, that was absolutely brilliant. Uh, highly recommend uh, coming to Wingham Wildlife Park if you're in the kind of South East Kent sort of sandwich area. It's uh, definitely worth a visit. It's absolutely brilliant. And uh, Lucy the Keeper was absolutely amazing too. It was a really good, uh, really good little tour. Right, uh, that's all from us. We're gonna enjoy the sun, have a drink, and uh, then uh, make our way back home. Cheers for watching, and I'll catch you later.